Hey guys, and welcome back. And if you're new here, thanks for joining us today. So today we are bringing you along on an unboxing. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited about this one. Um, if you're familiar, if you've been following us for a while, you've seen an unboxing on a kayak, an mm -hmm. inflatable kayak that we have, and I'll link that up on the cards. Um, if you haven't seen it, where we discussed other kayaks that we had, but this time we decided to go with something a little bit different. We sold our kayaks just because we weren't using it as often as we would have liked. And we got something else. And the storage is also storing two kayaks is also right. going to take up too much space for us. Right. So this time we went with, um, it's sort of a, a hybrid. It's a, an inflatable raft kayak right. uh, combination. It looks like a little boat. It looks like a bigger kayak. <laughs> and being here at Peace River, Thousand Trails Campground, we got... Um, motivated mm -hmm. <laughs> to get something and hit the water <laughs> well amazon motivated me when they gave me 50 percent off so. Ooh, so we'll have a link for that as well below in the description and we'll include it in our amazon store let's get to unboxing let's see what's in that box here is our amazon box mm -hmm. and like we mentioned in the, the tour video um there's an eckerd pharmacy that receives your packages for free <laughs> so you we just save five dollars instead of getting it here at thousand trails amazon hub counter eckridge pharmacy sounds fabulous yep all right i don't think this comes with a bag or carrying case or anything like that it was listed at 125 or 130 something like that and amazon had a 50 percent off so it was 60 dollars and renting a kayak i'm sorry renting a canoe at the outpost i think it's called the canoe outpost in this general area is 50 dollars for half a day so I figured if I was going to spend the money, spend an extra $10, and maybe it won't be so painful to lug it around. <laughs> right, it'll be multiple uses instead of just one, and multiple places instead of just here. So, the usual suspects, the hand pump, and the oars. Two oars, um, single oars. So Angie can use one on one side and I can use one on the other side or one of us can just roll. We can negotiate. I go roll one way, you roll the other way. I don't know. We'll <laughs> figure it out. Right. So let's get the opening. Awesome. So one of the things that I look for, look for in these type of things is um, multiple inflatable chambers. And that's obviously because if goes flat and it has just one chamber that inflates everything the entire boat goes flat if it has multiple inflating um, chambers then if one side of it goes flat the other the other side is still inflated and potentially you could still float all right so these are um, cylinders that supposedly you can sit on okay to be above the boat um, or you can also use them as a backrest. As backrest, which is probably what I would do, absolutely. It's a large one. Yeah, you told me it's about eight feet? I believe it's about eight feet long. I'm gonna have to transfer it now to the grass. If you would be so kind, young lady, to help me. You got it. Wait, let's see what we have in here. It's a little bag. Not sure. Might be for the oars. And rope around. And let's see. These these are uh for punctures. Okay, so patches. I think these might be for the oars. Probably to stick on the side and stick the oar. Oh, it. yes. Yes, yes. That makes sense. Or I think even to hold the fishing pole. Didn't you say that? Oh, yes. 
Yes, it did. It did bring. It's for a fishing sort of pole. Fishing pole thing. So it could be that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna set this up and help you carry that down to the grass. So we've got the raft out on the ground, so it's big enough space to unravel it. And Lou is opening it up right now. I'm, I'm studying it to see how they folded it. Okay. <laughs> to see if I can manage to fold it the same way. So it's the trifolds. Is the way it starts as a trifold. These are the. You have to put the fishing rods. Yeah, and I guess those go in there. Very cool. So that's several chambers. It's like that's five chambers. Let's right, so put your fishing rods. This is to slide your oar through, or even through here. It looks like it gives you two that's options. The this is this the, the clip. That's to clip the oar in so it doesn't fall if you're not using it. Okay. These are the to put the oars through. Right. So you can. You know, do this thing. So you can row. <laughs> do this thing. <laughs> All right. And then a handle. A handle to pull it. Perfect. And then these, I guess, are good to run zip ties through for something. The rope goes through there. The rope. That it brought. Okay. It also brought the pump with it, which I am going to use just to demonstrate. So you'll see here the number one chamber. So it's numbered in the order it wants you to fill it. And this one is called a Pioneer Kayak 4. Here's the number two chamber. Three and four. And then the last one in the back is the five. So it has five chambers. And then the little thing to put the air in. So the pump feels a little flimsier than the usual pumps that I've had in the past. And all the kayaks, all the inflatable kayaks that we've had in the past have brought this type of pump. This one feels a little wonky. <laughs> Three pieces. All right, let's see what this does. One, you can see that it is a Chinese <laughs> right. brand. As long as it floats, I don't really care. Oh, very nice. Being able to hold it with your foot in there. So I won't record the whole part of her inflating it, but I will time it and follow up with you guys once she is done and give you an update. One and two are done. She's moving on to three. And as I mentioned, I'm keeping track of the time to give you an update once it, she's done. Moving on to number four. And that's twice. Now the nozzle comes out of number four. Let's see if it stays this time. Oh, yeah, it stays. And now last but not least, five, which I'm guessing is going to be the whole like exterior of the boat. Since the sides and the middle are inflated. We took some turns. I helped Lou out a little bit because that is taking a very long time and it takes a lot of muscle. So it looks like she's done. She's closing it up. Let me get the time. It took 24 minutes to inflate the whole thing. So 13 for each side and the middle and then an additional 11 for the exterior, which is the five. Right, so the way it's set up is that these one and two are inside. So there's two additional safety measures here. are like this size, these tubes. Mm -hmm. And then this big area also is a, an additional area. So if this flattens, it gets punctured, you have two flotations inside of this mm. that will hold you up as well. Okay. Um, so it's, it's pretty safe as far as what I look for in a raft. This one is an easy release. Just turn it and it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. The other ones are the push-in type. And these you probably have to squeeze to get the, the air out. So that might be a little more challenging to get the air out, to deflate it, to put it away. Right. These are the um, fishing rods. These are for the oars. oars. And these are to hold the oars in place 
if you're not if you're just floating and you don't want to hold on to your oar. And talk to me about this and back here. Here, this is for an engine, a tro troller, I think it's called. Um, just a, one of those little tiny engines that take you like you know five miles an hour or something like that. So okay. You could add a little engine to this and just sort of put around. This is too flimsy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to invest in a uh, electric pump because, as Angie said, it. Who wants to kayak or boat or float or whatever row after like doing all this pumping work? for 25 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. So let's look at the additions that it comes with and set those up for you as well. These are like the fishing rod holders or enhancers, I don't know, stabilizers, I don't know. We won't be fishing. <laughs> no, we would not be fishing. We'll, we'll put it in there. Rope. So that we just run around the tubes and then you can tie it down somewhere. Well, I guess. I guess is what that's for. Or even clip things to it. Yep. And the next one's over here. Weird. None in them over there. There wasn't any in the middle either. No. Nope. Oh, okay. So not, not weird so. then. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'm gonna put her around the stroller. Well, yeah, might as well tie it through there for now. The cushions. The cushions. Yes. Pumping up also. Which would require more pumping. Yay. <laughs> no one ever said. <laughs> the last piece of the puzzle is the oars. Now when I was looking for some sort of raft, and that's exactly what I was looking for, I was looking for a raft because we want to go to a couple of springs and I was hoping that I could use it interchangeably. This one's a little big, so I don't know if it's going to work. But, um, they had different reviews. And so what convinced me, people weren't liking these oars very much. But what convinced me was that there was one gentleman that posted pictures on the Amazon review and I would say, and I'm saying this in the most possible kind way I can, he was a heavy set gentleman. I would assume that he was at least six feet tall and probably weighed at least 300 pounds. And he uses it for kayaking and for fishing. So I thought if it's good enough for him who is fishing and he's a heavy set gentleman, it has to be good enough for me and Angie. <laughs> and so that was sort of a deciding factor for me. So let's see, these are always the same way. You just put them in, tighten this thing. Nothing new, nothing great, nothing out of this world. They all work the same way. All the kayaks that we've had, all the oars have always worked the same way. Right, well I mean, it, we're saying it's always worked the same way for us, but think of somebody that's watching this that's never had anything similar has, to what we've had. It so, has, you tighten it here. Okay which I guess I over tightened already. <laughs> so basically there's, this turns, and as this turns, it grips hard, harder and harder and harder. So when it's loose, you insert one part of the rod, and you're gonna insert it as far as it goes, and then you just tighten this. And as you tighten this, it tightens around the rod, and it prevents it from coming out. That's it. They're very lightweight. This is aluminum. The ore is plastic. This part of it is plastic too. If we were putting them in here, I believe we might slide it like that. Or maybe put it through here. I'm not sure because I've never really used a raft. 
I'm more of a kayak person. But I will probably just use it like this. Right. Not in there. It has these clips on the side. And I'm gonna stick it in there. decided to test sitting on it <laughs> instead of using it as a backrest. It's supposed to be to sit on, not as a backrest, but I'm assuming you can use it as a backrest just the same. <laughs> the thing is that if you're up here, it'll be easier to row. That's true. Than being inside and going around. If you're inside, then... Eh, I mean, if you have it hooked there, it might not be bad. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, well, we hope you enjoyed this unboxing. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please help us grow our channel and subscribe now. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time we upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.